thank you, thank you for the opportunity to brief the key stakeholders of the planning system here today at the uh, Convention Centre. Uh, it's, today is the first day of a program that represents one of the most fundamental reforms to the planning system in a generation, rewriting of the Planning Act. I'm from UDIA New South Wales and our top priority is to start producing 40,000 homes a year across the state to ensure that there are, some sufficient, there are sufficient houses to meet the underlying market demand. New South Wales has been undersupplying houses since 2004 and at present we're producing under 30,000 houses and apartments per annum. Here are some facts about our market. One, we've got fewer homes are being built now in New South, New South Wales than at any time in the last 50 years. We've got the highest level of housing taxes and charges in the country. Planning costs in Sydney have increased from 5,500 per house in the mid 80s um, to around about 99,000, almost 100,000 in 2007. That's compared to $30,000 in Melbourne. Over the last four years, Adelaide's produced more greenfield land for new housing development than Sydney, despite having only a quarter of the population. Since 2008, more than 50,000 more new homes have been built in Victoria than in New South Wales. The, Envi the Environmental Planning and Assessment Act is the major regulatory instrument that governs housing production in this state. While it's not the sole cause of housing delivery problems in the state, it's one of the most influential factors. What we're looking for from UDIA, well, there are, there are presently, the planning system presently uh, pro is a process uh, rather than an outcomes driven uh, instrument, and this needs to change. The situation we find ourselves in is similar to that um, of the famous Yes Minister show episode where they had, uh, they had the most efficient hospital in the UK, but uh, they had no patients. Uh, the planning system is also unnecessarily complex with processes of like clarity, certainty, and transparency. At UDIA, we have about 250 members that actively engage in our committee systems over on a monthly basis, and their ideas have been sought um, on how to make the planning system the best in Australia. I don't want to go through all the details, um, but I'll give you some ideas now to throw into the mix in the workshops. With regards to development assessment and consent, um, our committees, the view of our members are have one consent authority for development, no concurrences. Assessment and consent to focus on planning approval with construction details addressed at construction certificate building approval stage. Introduce technology that provides open file content on the internet to aid transparency in decision making. R the role of consultation exhibition. Um, we encourage community consultation at the plan making stage rather than later down the approvals process. We'd like consultation on an exhibition of proposals to be appropriate for the level of assessment Small DAs should not be exhibited with a shift in emphasis from obligatory to only necessary where application does not comply with places, standards and objectives. Plan making environmental planning instruments and DCPs. An LEP and DCP should be a one-stop shop. They should be one-stop shop planning instruments. Reference to other instruments should be abolished. We would like to retain the gateway rezoning process, reduce the number of SEPs by absorbing provisions in the LEP template or in regulations. With regards to agencies, um, agency involvement to be limited to plan making processes with multi-layered approval processes abolished. We'd like to see, uh, we'd like to promote a, a can-do culture rather than a process driven culture. All infrastructure agencies to prepare and adopt growth servicing plans for areas of interest. With regards to the new act and regulation, we'd like to see a consolidation of all legislation that enables granting of development consent by consent authorities to JREPs, PACs and uh, to councils etc under one act including threshold requirements. These are just a few ideas and, uh, and I could have kept going for about 20 minutes today, but the, the most important thing here is, um, and our council have discussed this regularly, is we can change the act. Don't focus on the process too much. Look at the outcome. We need 40,000 homes a year in New South Wales and the rewriting the Planning Act will be a major positive step to achieving this.